Hey guys, we all have theories about games. So, for the 100th episode, um, or rather 100th video on my channel, I thought I'd share with you a theory I have been thinking for quite a while. So, I decided to delve into it and make it a thorough theory. So, this theory is about niche a, a genetic survival game now i've been playing a lot of this lately and one question was always in my mind when i've been playing it and that is quite literally what species do we play as so what are these species does anyone really know as the game is all about genetics, evolution and adaption. Many of the genes from the antlers to the gills to the webbed hind legs all go against what I see them originally being. So for this theory I'll only be looking at the genes or rather the appearance they show in media such as these. Now there is a simple answer out there but unfortunately only developers know that if even they know that and looking at discussion pages and doing a bit of research no one really knows what they are and if you think they are cats or dogs or even foxes then you aren't the only one as they're the three popular answers to what these guys are. Now I'm going to be looking at the scientific classification going through them from kingdom down to family to determine what are they really. Now the kingdom Animalia as they're obviously animals. The phylum Chordata because they have backbones. That's simple because they're the largest groups and that is quite clear to see. Now, class. This could include birds, reptiles, fish, amphibians and mammals and so well it's not fish because they don't live in water. Now it's not reptiles because they don't have scales. Not birds because they're neither feathered nor fly. So are they amphibians or mammals? Well, mammals, because they have fur, as one of the obvious reasons. Now, next would be the order. So, this could include primates. Um, this is hard to pronounce, but I've heard it being pronounced Cetartiodactyla. So, and then carnivora. So primates are like gorillas. Um, Ceteridactyla include those that giraffes and carnivora the coati. So we know it's not primates because they're not gorillas or chimpanzees or orangutan. We can rule out Ceteridactyla um, which include those that are even to even toed ungulates such as pigs and camels which we know they're not we only then have carnivora which include those who occasionally or only eat meat next is the suborder this is where things get a lot more difficult as it all rounds down to two caniformia or filiformia they are dog-like or cat-like. This is the main divide between people on what this species actually is in niche as you have some who either think they look like dogs or those that think they look like cats and at this point in time 
you could be right about either because the def developers haven't stated whether they're dogs or cats. So we're going to look at different features between it. So ultimately, do these guys look more like this Eskimo dog or this short haired cat? First, we're going to be looking at Feliformia. Now, this includes those that are cat like. So, it includes the mongoose here or the hyena. Just two examples. So, first feature which you will see among Feliformia are them being arboreal. This means that they live or spend long times in trees. Or whether they're semi arboreal, which means they only spend some time in trees, such as jaguars who carry their food up in trees to eat. Now, do they? Unfortunately, not in niche. We have yet to be able to travel up trees. So, this is a no. Next thing is that they possess short snouts. As this picture shows from one of my tribes, they do. Lastly, the digit crates, which means they walk on their toes. Although we never actually see them walk, as they're always in a sitting position, even when they move from tile to tile, as we can see from this image from another member, they are. So, caniformia are those like the sea lion or bears again to give two examples and we're again going to look at three different features firstly living in dens as seen from this picture they have nest like dens which they give birth in also they have long snouts as also seen from this picture they can possess long snouts lastly they're pintigrade, which means they walk on their feet. As we've already covered, they don't, which means two for two. So we're going to go over and remind what we got to before I reveal which suborder I place them in. Firstly, they're mammals. They have backbones. They're mammals. Their order is carnivora as they are omnivores as they eat meat but the suborder I put them in is caniformia why? well this is more reasons why I haven't classed them as feline firstly their diet cats are obligate carnivores also called true carnivores like the tiger as they only eat meat and nothing else Dogs, on the other hand, include more specifically domestic dogs, can't sustain a full meat-only diet and have evolved to eat vegetables and grains and be able to digest starch unlike cats. This may be because domestication has caused them to evolve this way, but we also see it in the maned wolf, whose diet is 50% plant matter. Another being, cats are generally solitary animals, with the exception of lion prides and male cheetahs who tend to live in groups and hunt in groups. Whereas you can see from these pictures that the gameplay resolves around you controlling a pack. So, lastly, we're going to cover family, as I believe that the species of in niche um, are their own variety of species and genus. So the family I've put them in is Canadide. This simply being because, firstly, they're digit grades, one of the only ones in the Caniformia suborder. Next, they live in a wide range of habitats including deserts, grasslands, mountains and forests. Next, their omnivore diet being 
the stag moles and the berry bushes. So that is my theory to what they are. They are as close to dogs and also foxes as they also live in this family being what they are and not cats. So this is my theory. Feel free for the developers to turn around and say I'm wrong. But from the evidence we've shown from this early access game, I conclude that they are belonging to this family. Now that is it for this theory. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback or would like to give more evidence to this theory or against this theory feel free to put it in the comments below and if you'd like to see more theories of mine that are coming up soon or even watch my gameplay of the game Niche, a genetic survival game feel free to press that subscribe button and I'll leave it a link to the playlist to my current series in the description below so I'm going to leave you there and as an outro I'm going to lead a little show showing what I would name them and other details I put to these species from the evidence of their family. So bye guys.